the men came with money, with media, with muscle power, with misogyny, and mocked her. Didi! Oh, Didi! Sit down! You have to sit down! Don't force my hands! If you level an allegation that Prime Minister of this country went to West Bengal with money, and you still want me to condone it, prove it! Derek O'Brien, seven minutes. Ten minutes, sir. Seven. Ten. He has taken time of other members. Who? No, I say Mr. K.C. Venugopal. Sir, what are you doing? Are you making a mockery of this? What? Is something wrong with you? Sir, I've got sit 10 down, minutes right? of my party to speak. Sit down. You're, I got 10 minutes of my party. Why are you doing this, sir? No, look here. I'm not giving. Just sit down and listen to me. It has become virtually your reference. All India Trimal Congress, dollars and 10 minutes. Your total time is 24 minutes. Yes. You have 14 minutes left. Seven yes. each. You can take sir, all the 14 minutes. Sir, sir, sir. Please, sir. Please. Just one sec. Sir. Just hear me out, please. Yes. Just hear me out. One sec, one sec. Sir. What is wrong? Just hear me out and then what is, what is if wrong? I'm saying something wrong, you can just uh, hear me out, Let's sir. Let's first please. talk on time. Sir, How much I'm time? talking only on time. How much time your party has? 24 minutes. How much has been used? 14 minutes. 14. 10 by Dola Sen. 4 by, by Mausam Noor. 24 Dola Sen. minus 14 he, is 10. He works so, what, how much time is left? 10 minutes. Okay, take 10 minutes. So, I have not started and it's already 1.25. Doesn't matter. No, sir, ten, take take just, 10 no. minutes. Sir. 11.25, 10 minutes end. Okay. Go ahead. I support the women's reservation bill. Mm -hmm. But this government, when will this government know or learn that this is a parliamentary democracy and this is not an army commando operation? In an army commando operation, you need secrecy. You need surprise. You need stealth. In a parliamentary democracy, you don't. You need cooperation. You need sharing. Yes. Yes. Why do you bring this Special session, parliamentary bulletin, no agenda. The agenda will be added later. Two, why do you have an all-party meeting on Sunday and don't mention a word about this bill? Why do you have a cabinet meeting and tomorrow, this morning we are given four hours time to submit amendments? Sir, honestly, I appeal to them, such parliamentary democracy with such secrecy hurts a democracy. We know why it is being done. And the last three days, one man's story is being told. Fair enough. Today, I want to begin with a quote, which everyone can own today. Quote, sir, we want the women's bill to be introduced. We want nothing short of the women's bill. We want a specific date. We want an assurance that the women's bill is brought. This is a matter of shame that it hasn't been brought. We want a specific time frame, unquote. This is very nice today. This was said by somebody in the Lok Sabha on the 14th of July, 1998. It was a woman MP. Today, she is the three-time chief minister of Bengal. She is the founder chairperson of the Trinamool Congress. And sir, she has already got 40% of her women MPs already in the Lok Sabha. Yeah. From 14th of July, 1998, let this woman's story be told. In 2006, a 26-day hunger strike, no reservation, struggling and fighting for her rights as a woman. In 2014, setting a record because the bill didn't get passed. So what did she do? She gave 41% tickets in the Lok Sabha to women MPs. Yeah. The BJP president, the first speaker, was saying this is the shortest way to bring parliament, uh, women to parliament. No, sir, this is not the shortest way. You didn't need the bill. Bring them, show us, and bring them to parliament. Yeah. Yeah. Now you come to the life of this woman. 
2019, she sets a record. Not only does she give 40% women tickets, 39% women Lok Sabha MPs are already sitting in the Lok Sabha. Why do I say this? It is one thing to give the women tickets. It's another thing to make sure you give them tickets which are winnable. One man's story, sir, we've heard. One woman's story needs to be told today in this new parliament building. I'll tell you more. My last date, 2021, assembly elections in Bengal. The men came with money, with media, with muscle power, with misogyny, and mocked her. Didi! Oh, Didi! You even tried to smash and you broke her foot, smashed it to injure her. Yes, she gave you the answer truly like a woman. Softly, softly. Good, good, good. When continue, I talk about continue. Mr. Modi and Mr. Shah, I get under their skin, I know. Hmm. Sir, sir, the woman answered her how? The women didn't answer. The people of Bengal in India provided the answer. And after the election, what happened? The health minister of Bengal, the finance minister of Bengal, the land minister, the industry minister, the commerce ministry are all headed by women. You couldn't find one woman in your 16 chief ministers to make, uh, to make a chief minister and you're coming and telling us what to do about women. Take some of our advice. Now we'll give you, like how we gave you in 1998, you're trying to implement in 2045 or whatever. Listen to two pieces of advice from us and take it in good spirit. Because women, at least my chairperson has a vision which I look up to. So here's one suggestion. If you're so keen, and now it's past 2 p.m. already, so nobody can submit any amendments, as we are all saying, the Congress Party, the Trinamu, the DMK, the AAP, all of us, we, India, we are saying, bring this in 2024. So all you need to do to bring this in 2024 is remove 334A, from your existing bill. Bring it, we'll start in, we'll start in 2024. Yes. If you're, one second, sir. If you're finding that difficult to do, here's another solution. At least try. 2024, an open challenge from my party. You bring one third of women elected from your party and show us. Yes. Bring, yes. bring and show us. I guarantee you, we will bring one third of women with your bill, without your bill. Sir, some people have a sense of humor, and I'm sure we haven't lost our sense of humor here, because the joke going around is there's a typographical error in the bill, that actually it's 2024, should actually, actually they meant 2034. <laughs> now, I don't know whether that's true or false, but I've got a second suggestion. It was very nice, sir, your idea this morning of having ladies sit there for 15 minutes, 16 minutes, all through the day. So here's an idea which may not happen in 24, but think about it, it's coming to you from my party as a suggestion. Get everybody on board, have proper discussion on the subject, and then bring one third women reservation also in Rajya Sabha. Yeah. We will all support. Yeah. It can't be done in a hurry, but bring it. Today you may think it's a crazy zany idea, but no. This is possible, if not in the next six years, in the next 10 years. The question is, sir, for all the speeches we hear, is the BJP really serious about empowering women? Because all the struggles and oppression faced by women is not because of women. It's because of men and the outlook of men to women. I don't want to spend time wasting my time on a former wrestling chief. Leave that. I'm quoting from the Hindustan Times. Quote, 
People in air-conditioned rooms in Delhi cannot decide public policy. This bill will drown the Indian political system if it goes through. If men develop feminine traits, they become gods. If women develop masculine traits, they become rakshas. Western ideas of women's liberation should be properly analyzed in the Indian context, unquote. Said by who? I'll tell you who said it. You can build a new building, sir, but I request all of you to first change your mindset. Yes, yes. This was said by the current Chief Minister of Uttar Pradesh. Hey. Hey. So in conclusion, in conclusion, I'm happy I'm being allowed to conclude today. In the old house, at least, I wasn't allowed, but I'm happy. Sir, I wish to conclude by remembering my favorite woman of all time, my ma, my mother, who's no more. Ma would always tell me that, you know, Derek, this world is divided into only two kinds of people, the talkers and the doers. So some people will talk. 15 crore into your, one per something, 15 lakhs into your bank account, farmer income, triple, after demonetization, this will happen, after that will happen. There is one difference, sir. The talkers and the doers. There is only one difference. Because there are only two kinds of people. So there's a talker and there's a doer. There's a male prime minister of India. There's a simple woman who's the Chief Minister of Bengal. Thank you so much. Sri Derek O'Brien is called upon to authenticate two statements made by him. One, man came with money. And second, the allegation he has leveled by quoting the present Chief Minister of Uttar Pradesh. Every member has a right, every member has a right to say anything. You will have to authenticate during course of the day. That's a directive. No flow, nothing will go on record. Nothing will go on record. Sit down. You have to sit down. Don't force my hands. Sit down. You will have to. You will have to comply the directive. No. If you level an allegation that the Prime Minister of this country went to West Bengal with money and you still want me to condone it, 